to another vlog. It is a week in my life vlog. Ignore the mess behind me. We're getting this situated actually in this vlog, but it is 7 a.m. I'm upstairs like journaling and reading. I have Pilates at 8.30. I have been an anxious pet. Today is Tuesday. And besides like what I had to do out of bed, I have been in bed the past 48 hours just with like such bad anxiety. And I'm feeling better today and I'm getting up and we're going to work out and I'm getting things done and we're getting out of that today. But I had like the worst anxiety I've had in so long. I have no idea why. And I literally couldn't get out of bed. So we're gonna fix that today. Um, if you guys are new here, subscribe. Welcome to another week in my life vlog. Um, I just made some coffee and I'm gonna do morning pages and then if I have a little bit more time I'll read. I finished the idea of you last night. It's like a fanfic kind of like One Direction styled after book I think like this mom falls in love with a 21 year old like heartthrob and they have this like, crazy love story. I couldn't get into it until the past last like 15% and then I was like oh my god I'm heartbroken I need a sequel but I really just like it wasn't for me. I'm also like not a One Direction person. Let me know if you guys have read it and what you think what you thought. I'm kind of in a book rut so I need Rex to get out of that. Yeah I don't know it was like just okay. I'm at Pilates. I'm already feeling so much better just like getting out of my house. That's the hardest thing when you are really anxious is the last thing you want to do is leave your house but the best thing for you sometimes most of the time is leaving your house. So I'm already feeling so much better you guys should have seen me yesterday i tried to vlog and i was like absolutely not it's not happening so anyways i'm heading off to pilates my bread winning house with tumblr and and we are off i'm out of pilates obviously i am a mess right now but i'm trying these cool and glow towelettes i've heard good things and i feel like they're perfect for me to keep in my car after workouts biodegradable wipe um just because I get so gross and I need to go run an errand today. We're actually shooting Breadwinning Housewives like home stuff, which guys, I'm like literally a tomato, um, which comes out like later next month. But I've got to go get flowers. I've got to just like get everything ready for that. It's that too, but I have a lot to do before my photographer gets here. So I'm glad I worked out though. It makes me just feel so much better. All right, guys, I got a ton of flowers. It was so fall in Trader Joe's. Oh, you know what? I did mean to get some like orange or brown, but I think I'm just gonna keep it neutral for the shoe. Um, it smells incredible in here now. So I'm gonna go home, shower, and then figure all this out. stuff set up this needs to be cleaned these are three of the five items that we're shooting today i had to order a new steamer so i could steam this stuff um this comes out actually november 3rd now we just got pushed back a little bit but we have an apron which is so fun we have the breadwinning housewife mat which was what i'm the most excited for a little kitchen towel and then we have this cutting board over here you guys have seen this and stuff but it just looks so beautiful i did get black paint on it last week so we're gonna have to like photoshop to make it look better because i did that but um i'm gonna be ordering a new one anyways i use this all the time though it's a great quality cutting board and i have a blanket which is upstairs right now i'm actually about to make this pumpkin bread from healthy girl kitchen it looks so good but i need to be like baking today so i'm gonna have all this stuff like mixed and ready to go by the time my photographer gets here so we can just like shoot the photos and it's like quicker but this looks incredible. I have all of my groceries here. Just made 
made myself grilled cheese. It looks so much darker on camera. It's burnt, I like my stuff burnt, but it's not that burnt. And then soup, that's my lunch. I'm having a very fall day, and then I need to really finish up the rest. This is what we have pretty much ready to go. I'll keep you guys posted on how I like this. My pumpkin chocolate chip bread, ooh. It is done cooking, and I know that a lot of the chocolate chips haven't fully melted, but that's kind of my vibe right now. I'm about to film a video, but first I need to obviously show everyone how um, domestic I am and take a photo of this from my Instagram story. And then I'm gonna film a video. It's actually very exciting. It's a little cooking with me video. I wanna start doing these. But we're making my favorite um, tortellini soup that I love. It's my first one that I'm making of the season. So you know what? Actually, today is yeah the 20th. Today is Danielle's birthday. Um, but I'm pretty sure the 22nd is the first official day of fall. And I'm so happy. Today has felt very fall-like. Also, I will like never get over these. If you guys watch my birthday vlog, you know every time I, I keep them on my counter because it just makes me happy. Um, the breadwinning housewife home shoot went really well. I'm about to make my Italian sausage tortellini kale soup for a video. Um, I can see though that my cushions from my couch on the rooftop, the new cushions, came in. I don't even know if I'm gonna like them. So once I'm done filming that video, we're gonna go and do some stuff on the rooftop. It's just like 90 degrees outside today. <laughs> So I'm like not really feeling that and I also need to scrub myself tan off tonight. That is a like necessity. But these nails, I can't get over them. They're not like the chocolate glaze nails. I got a taupey color. I think the chocolate ones are darker. I'm not really sure actually, but um, I just love them. I got chrome on top. I'm years late to the trend, but I finally did it. All right guys, I just finished filming a cooking video. And one, it's crazy how much I'm more comfortable already when it's literally the same camera. Um, but I know this is for a vlog versus like a main, like a normal video. What would be like a main video in the past? No, so I just am like so hard on myself for everything that I say. I operate in extremes. I either like do not care literally at all or I like overthink everything that I do. When it comes to YouTube, I think I talk about this in the video too, so I guess I'll just talk about that there. But anyways, it's really hot. Oh, bad news, everyone. I just, in the middle of this, went and tried the new cushions that arrived on my couch upstairs, and the cushions are not going to work. So I'm going to have to go find new ones, which has been just a pain completely. And I accidentally ripped my couch cushion as I was switching them off, which is even more unfortunate, but um, for the rest of tonight, I'm gonna finalize stuff for the Okine shoot this weekend. On Saturday, we are shooting our next products coming out, which are, like, I'm so obsessed with them. Also, it feels weird talking, not talking to the camera and talking to the vacuum. Anyways, um, I'm really excited about it, and I have the shoot, like, pretty much done, but I wanna start using my iPad Pro again, so, with the iPad Pro, I will have everything on there. I have too much food. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I just, I really overestimate. If I'm going to cryo machine right now, I would like cry to enjoy because I am so hot. I need to go change. Good morning guys, what a day I've had. That's gonna bother me. Um, by the way, I've been loving the Kylie gloss strip. Picked up some stuff from Kylie Cosmetics because, do you guys know anyone who shops at Kylie Cosmetics? It's the craziest thing because it's obviously so popular and I don't know anyone who uses it. So I had to test it out again for myself and update, love it. I got a lot of lip products though. 
Um, well, the eyeliner was really incredible, and I haven't used my like eyeshadow palette yet because I don't have good brushes. I need to get all new makeup brushes. Anyways, good morning everyone. Woke up, went on a walk, went weightlifting, had a cryo toning appointment, came home, and I just self tan. So I'm gonna look crazy all day. I actually, unfortunately, have Zoom meetings literally all day long. So will my camera be broken? Probably. Oh, I left my aura ring upstairs. Um, anyways, I'm about to make some breakfast, some late breakfast, and get ready for my first meeting in 40 minutes. And then I have meetings for like four hours straight, and then I have a lot of podcast prep to do, some last minute shoot prep to do. Gotta drop off Taryn's birthday present because it's tomorrow and I wanted to have her gift by tomorrow. So just gotta get some things going. BFS podcast is on tonight. I love Wednesdays, I really do. I also feel disgusting. Oh guys, look at my hoodie. It's Martha Stewart. Have you ever seen anything so amazing? Answer is no. Guys, okay, I'm really excited. I'm in between calls right now, but earlier I did an Instagram Q&A when I was waiting to go waitlist. And I mentioned how I really want to go to Amsterdam and I'm just waiting for my friends to get on board because I have no interest in solo travel like internationally literally at all. Um, I love my friends. I want to be my friends and that's scary. Then Marissa replied and was like, oh my God, I'm going to be in Europe. Come meet me. And I'm like, wait. And long story short, I think now we are going to London and Amsterdam in January and I'm really excited. I am like really rethinking how I'm doing a few things just because... Well, one, I'm considering doing every podcast episode a solo episode, so it's less travel on me, just because, like, I don't know, I don't, I don't, we'll see, I don't know, I don't know how I feel, because I also love the guest thing, I might, like, test it out a little bit, but as of, I don't know if any of you guys care about this, but I'm going to batch record in November, and then I'm going to batch record in October, um, and by mid-October, I will have the rest of the year batched out and then a little bit going into January And that's like with only one solo episode or a few maybe throughout So now I'm just like, I don't know Like we'll see like what you guys want because at the end of the day if you want more guests I will keep traveling if you want more solo. I will do more solo I also want to do an episode on weightlifting like obviously like not just me uh, maybe for the new year because those episodes like January always really hits for me because because I love that stuff. Like, I love everything. Like, health, wellness, goals, routines, productivity. Like, that is my love that stuff. So, I always love, uh, like, it hits for me in the sense of, like, I love January episodes. But I need to get those recorded. Um, hmm. Anyways, just thinking out loud here. Anyways, I'm really, really excited. Guys, today has been a very productive day on my computer. Things have changed with my Europe trip. So I'm now flying in a little bit earlier because Marissa like, couldn't change her flights, which has worked out perfectly. Because now I'm spending New Year's Eve in Paris and then we're gonna go to Amsterdam and then we're gonna go to London and then fly back. So I'm gonna be gone for like a week. And I am so excited. We were gonna do a trip here and like no one else wanted to do it. So now I'm like, guess I'm going to Paris. It's a really great day. I'm so happy. Um, but anyways, working on the Okan, it's like 5 p.m. right now doing like influencer events and stuff um, because we're doing a pop-up in New York. The, when is it? October 15th and 16th. So if you guys are in the city, come shop and hang out with us. Um, we'll be there all weekend. Everything will be in store all weekend. We'll be there a lot of the time in store. And I'm just so excited. But the day before that, we have a little influencer brunch. Oh my gosh, guys. I think I just was like more productive today because I was wearing my Martha Stewart hoodie, you know? It's 5 p.m. Got three more hours until I can wash this off. I'm gonna get more work done. Hopefully get this invite done. I've been prepping episodes too for my national trip next week. Wow, I just really love my life. I really do. I just put the dogs out and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packages from when I last went outside. So I'm gonna do a little unboxing. You know when you've like been inside all day working and like super zoned in and focused on your computer and then you have like a Almost like an anxious rush, but you like slightly have a headache. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? I really hope to God I'm the only one, but it's just like, I feel almost like stir crazy. I don't know. I don't know. Also, Fitz just like wants to be on camera so bad. Hello, Mr. Fitz. You are so handsome. You are the most handsome of them all. Come here. Show them how handsome you are, Fitz. She's a hobby. I love you. A lot of it is born home stuff. I did get Kendra Scott's PR package for her new book, which is so exciting, Born to Shine. Um, I'm very excited to read this. I'm pretty sure she's a billionaire. Is she? But she is a Texas female entrepreneur, which we love. So I'm gonna read this. 
I also got new Pantone books. Oh my God. If you ever wonder how you pick out colors for things, that's how. Um, okay, I have a little bit of a haul. I don't love buying clothes on Amazon, but I do love these pants and I wear them all the time. Um, they're men's pants and I get them in a large so that they're like baggy oversized. I just like size up one. I'm normally a medium, but um, I like them and I wanted them in chocolate brown. I got these striped ones and now I'm like, are this, is this stripe? Are they too much? But imagine this with like cute little like loafers and a white sweater. Like that's fun. Or like even a black sweater and that's cute. Um, I got some things from Rumor online. I'm actually not sure what made me order this. I don't remember, but I, I ordered pretty quickly. For, maybe someone posted it. I don't know, but I think that these little vests are so cute. These with jeans and loafers. Like, what a cute, easy look. Got it in white, and then I got it in cream as well. Or these even with, like, the Okine Dallas pants. Love. And then I also got this sweater top, which I thought was so cute to just, like, wear a little tank top underneath. And it's, like, so perfect, you know? Um, I'm just in one of those moods where I'm getting like everything done. So I got these acrylic shelves because my bathroom is outrageous as far as storage goes. And I was at Marissa's this weekend and she had these and I'm like, why have I not, why did I not have this? So I don't know where my hammer is. Can have to find that. But, um, I'm going to go hang these up. And here's the thing about them. They won't be level and they probably won't be spaced out correctly either. But I'm going to make it happen because I decided that that is what is happening tonight. And then my pantry is like so cluttered. I actually can't even show it to you guys because it's so embarrassing. Like I actually, I'm sorry, I won't be showing you guys. It is humiliating. I might go through that tonight. Updates to come guys. I've been just, you know, getting things done today. I have Shannon and Anna Grace on in the background. This is it so far. This is the best that I could do. And keep in mind, like it's not, okay. It's not even. It's fine. I'm the only one who uses this bathroom and like this is the best we could do. It is good enough for me. Gets things out of the way. I like the look. It feels fine. Obviously, it's really close to that, but there's not much I can do. I do want to get rid of this light and replace it. This light and my bathroom light. So, uh, maybe I'll look at that actually. It's my online, but feels better. Okay, it's still so crammed. I'm warning you. This is what I was doing for tonight. First off, I had no idea how much alcohol I have. Not all this, but these. And that is because I entertain a lot. People bring it and then we don't drink it. This stuff has been sitting here, most of it not even opened, for a very long time. So in the fall, I'll be hosting some free games. Like, that Stella beer, I don't even know how long it's been here. I love Stella, but... Oh, that's my phone. I just don't ever drink at my house. Alone, ever, but also at my house. Um, and I haven't been hosting really at all, so... There's just so much, guys. And then this stuff, it's overflowing. Obviously, my mom's gonna come and, like, really help me clean the rest of this out, but... For the time being, this is so much better than it was. This is also like my only closet in my house. Things just get thrown in here. You know what? I'm going to do my spice cabinet, okay? This is the one y'all might unsubscribe for. Um, it's bad. I can't believe I'm even showing you guys this. Okay. It's very, very, very bad. It hasn't been organized in over a year. So, I'm going to do this now. Realistically, it'll probably only take me like 25 minutes, which is crazy because I'm putting it off for a year. Almost here, probably nine months. All right, not much better, but I that's all for dogs, by the way, except for red clay keeps falling in there. Um, that I haven't even touched, but there's barely anything up there. And I just, I made it look better, okay? It doesn't look great, but it looks better than it did. Good morning guys, it's 6.45, I'm gonna go journal. Here's my cozy little outfit. I don't know where this pajamas is from. I'll try to link it if I remember. It was a gift that I got at the Thompson Spa. Um, but it's 6.45 and the new Kardashians episode released and I don't have to work out until 8.20. So I'm gonna do my gratitude journaling and then I'm gonna watch the Kardashians because that sounds good to me. Okay guys, like, I'm sorry, but, okay, the light, really? Let's do this again. Okay, ready? <laughs> guys, like, look at how cute and perfect this is. This is from the last line. 
their birthday gifts i have four of them and i'm gonna just start drinking espresso shots every morning or like making my coffee and you know whatever but like oh my god i'm obsessed we booked some more flights and then we booked our hotels for london and amsterdam and then we have paris still to book also i love this little last light cup it's my favorite thing ever but I have to leave in um, five minutes for boxing. So I'm gonna go change. And then I'm meeting my friend Macy, who also has a YouTube channel and TikTok and whatever. I've actually, she's followed me forever. And then I followed her on TikTok a while ago. And then now she works for a management company. And so I love her. And I'm making her go to boxing with me today. Here's my outfit for boxing, Hoka's. These shorts are story and they're so comfortable. This top is set active and then I have the bar crew, which I don't know how hot it is, so I don't think I'm gonna tie it or like put it on yet. I'm gonna tie it right now. I have boxing at 20, so I gotta go. How excited are you? <laughs> Guys, I'm just in such a good mood and I think it's because I incorporated the Kardashians into my morning routine. Didn't get to finish the episode because they're an hour long, so I will be finishing that. I even had time to journal. Like, isn't that awesome? Um, so I still came down today, as you guys know. And I put on some like little pimple patches because I've been having some breakouts. I'm going to get a facial on Sunday at the Thompson, the Skin Better Facial. Best facial ever. If you guys are in Dallas, book that, the signature facial or microneedling, get you with the code Kenzie through the end of September and you get 20% off, which is like a crazy deal. But the Skin Better Facial is my favorite facial I've ever gotten. So I'm going to do that this weekend because my skin is like acting up and I need it to be glowing in uh, clear for the six recordings that I'm doing next week. Oh, anyways, back to that. Like, I don't know if you can see, but it obviously like took the tan off my face. It's not that obvious. I guess probably only I can tell. And I knew that would happen, but it was like a risk I was willing to take and now I'm like, was it worth it? Was it worth it? I don't know. So today is one of my best friend's birthdays. And we have a birthday dinner tonight, it's Thursday, and everyone's like wanting to go out, and I am like, oh my god, like, I am not what I once was. I used to love going out on Thursday nights, Thursday nights were my favorite nights ever to go out, especially like early college age. I have a theory on why they're the most fun, because you don't have a ton of, what's the word I'm looking for, expectation on a Thursday night. You're just like, I mean, sure, we'll go out, whatever. And you're normally like ra wearing random things, and it's not like super done up, in the same way that the best nights just in general are always the ones that are not planned i think a lot of it has to do with not having expectations because you think about like new year's eve and new year's eve like pretty much always kind of sucks because there's like too much expectations on the night um granted i will be in paris this new year's eve because you guys haven't heard me talking about this already um but still normally like new year's eve is just like i've really i don't think i've ever had a good one to be honest with you and holidays sometimes make me sad even though like i've been obviously the biggest christmas lover there's ever been so anyways i don't even know what i was talking about oh tonight thursday so i've been like stressed out all week thinking about how i have to stay out late on a thursday night and like how that's gonna really throw off my day tomorrow tomorrow isn't gonna be as big of a work day because i'm working on saturday so i wanted to like give myself a little bit of time where it's like more chill i still actually have to work tomorrow but I'm going to like the sauna i'm gonna like extend my wellness if you will and then work and probably not going out tomorrow night because sunday or saturday morning we have our fall shoot for the O kind, which is very exciting. It's my favorite. I like am so obsessed with the stuff. So that's what I'm doing. My like back it feels weird, but I'm really not like hyper enough to go boxing. Like that's the thing. I feel like when I started boxing, I had like so much energy, and then I got rid of the energy. And now when I'm there, I'm like, oh my god, you know. But if you go to Ding Ding in Dallas, my favorite is Dre. He is by far my favorite teacher. All right, I have showered, changed into a really comfy outfit. For the day i have therapy in about an hour and i need to do all these returns for all those boxes of the cushions for overstock it's just i don't know how this is gonna happen and then i also need to return some amazon stuff i am so bad about returns i will just like not do them and give this stuff to someone else but like the cushions obviously can't be that so needs to return those and i need to just i decluttered so much of my house last night that i'm just on one so i've got to i've got to pack up
out of therapy, did my returns, and now I'm at my favorite place ever, Sprouts. Pups are taking naps right now. They were really hyper this morning and now they're done. Currently, I have a headache, but I'm gonna share with you guys my Sprouts haul. This is exciting stuff. I decided for lunch I'm gonna make the Emily Mariko salmon bowl. So I got, I got the seaweed snacks. I got some kale because I'm also going to make my like kale bone broth chicken soup today with all the vegetables just to make sure I'm not, um, I wonder if I, oh, here's my salmon. Just to make sure that I am not, um, uh, wasting anything. Also, I forgot, well, I didn't forget. I didn't know I was going to go to Sprouts or else I would have brought, um, my, oh, kind of like reusable foot bag. So I'm sorry. Um, I'm like really out of it. Therapy was like good today, but I'm just like, you know, I also got birch benders, like pancake mix because maybe on the weekends, or even it's like weekdays, I'd want to, it's just, just add water. I'd want to make this, you know? I never do. And I feel like that would be really good and it's fun, so. I have some mango, which I might eat right now. Oh, okay, so I'm not sure if I'm going to like this. I love nut pods and I love trying out new nut pods. I have a bunch of favorite flavors, so I can go into that on, at another time. This one is a toasted marshmallow and I haven't tried it and I am interested. So I want to try it. I love the seasonal, like, coffee creamers. That's like the one thing that, like, really gets me. Um, but I love nut pods. If you guys haven't tried it, I would definitely recommend. Like, I might be crazy and eat this as rice today. As the basis of my... I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have to. Just as the base of my, my bowl. Because I don't... I mean, I have rice, but I do not want to get my rice maker out right now. Just need to not do that. So, I have bone broth for my soup. And then I got some more kimchi because I ran out. Um, and I really like that kimchi from what I remember. So I'm gonna make some lunch and then I'm gonna start working on the soup and then I just get back to work. Um, I also need coffee, like my gosh. All right, this is my lunch. I made myself a coffee since I'm really tired. Currently making my favorite soup. This probably needs to, oh, yep, that's really high. We're cooking chicken in here right now, but it's so good. Okay, it is now 5 p.m. or 5.30 and I need to leave for this birthday dinner very soon actually and i have no idea what i'm gonna wear it's that weird time of year where i pretend that it's fall but it's actually still 90 degrees out i don't know i really don't know what i'm gonna wear this sucks I don't know guys, but I'm going to the infrared sauna in the morning and like I just cannot wait and then I'm going again on Sunday because I'm having a spa day by myself <sighs> and I feel so good. But I got a lot of work done. I sent out all the invites for our pop-up. I sent not all of them, well, most of them um, and then I just got a lot of episodes prepped and just like a bunch of other like scheduling and stuff that I've just been kind of like, you know when you like know you need to do something for a long time but you have to like wait till a specific time to do it? That makes sense? And then you're just like stressed about it for no reason. That's how I've been. So anyways, I'm going to figure out my outfit off camera. And then I will show you guys my finished look. Honestly, guys, when all else fails, your go-to black dress. This is my Skims dress. This is the one that I think is like really popular on TikTok. I have this in probably six I have different colorways. And I have different actual, like I have like a tank top one. Oh, you know what? I do have... Maybe I should wear that one because it is going to be warm out. So I'm going to do this dress in the tank top, I think. And then just like go for the best. I think that's going to be, that's going to be my vibe. Okay, this, let me show you guys how many dresses I have right now. This is ridiculous. There's no room. And like I go through this the most because I wear dresses the most. It's absurd. Okay, so this is my look. I don't know if you can see the boots. Um, this is like as good as it's going to get. There were some cuter outfits that I had. This dress is Revolve. It's actually like really cute. It's super light, which is nice because it's gonna be like 90 degrees. I cannot believe I'm going out on a Thursday night, guys. Like, this is really crazy for me these days. Only for Taryn, for Taryn's birthday. Um, I'm waiting for my, like, cocoa butter on my legs to 
really just get in there, but it's not really doing much. And then I brought out my Fendi bag that I got on the Real Real, um, probably like two years ago. The bags that I get on the Real Real are always such good finds because for a lot of reasons actually. I like them a little bit better because it's not everything that's like currently out, obviously, for the most part. Oh, found my bigger Jennifer Fisher hoops. They have been gone for, I haven't used these bags since probably like last fall. I've been wondering where these were. It's always a good surprise, you know. Let's see what other lip products I have in here. No, no, no. I can probably throw like all this away, honestly. Superstay 8 ink crayon. I do have lip liner on, but this is like too purpley for the look. But better than nothing. So we're going to a restaurant tonight that I haven't been to, and then we're just going out. This is the look. I wanted to bring a bigger bag because I do want to bring this camera because I always like having cute pictures on everyone's birthdays to send to them. And I got this um, new digital camera that like I don't know how to work because it works when it's plugged in. I don't know, I'm gonna spoil the one upstairs too, so we'll see. Good morning guys i'm trying this whole like slower mornings thing wearing my pajamas i did have to change into my clothes but wearing my pajamas with my robe ice rolling making my coffee which right now i'm just having a little i'm sipping on a shot of espresso if you will oh alexa pause so we went to taryn's birthday dinner last night and then everyone else went out and we went to like one place after and i got home at like 10 30 and i had like two drinks well, I, I had like two and a half, and I really didn't want the last one, but long story short. Anyways, it was really fun, but it's like, it took everything in me to get out of bed at 8 a.m., which like, this is ridiculous. But also, guys, um, at 5 a.m., I woke up to someone ringing my doorbell, like at 5 a.m. Obviously, I didn't answer it or got downstairs and stayed in bed, but like, I haven't even checked to see like if anything is going on out there. But isn't that very, very weird? Like, why would someone be ringing my doorbell at 5 a.m.? Like, that's obviously sketchy and probably scary, but whatever. Anyways, ice rolling, gonna sip my espresso shot. Then I'm going to the sauna and I'm doing cryo this morning. And I need to drive to my grandma's house because she's gonna help us. Um, we're like switching out patches on our things that we're shooting for the Okai tomorrow. And she's a seamstress, so she's gonna do that for us just for the photos, not for like the rest of them. We only have the samples right now. And then um, I'm just home working today and I will not be doing anything tonight because we have an early shoot for the Okine. So I want to be in bed, rested, ready to go, looking and feeling my best in the morning. So that is the plan. No Friday night out, Friday night's in. I'm like honestly losing all desire to leave my house. Like I just want cozy nights in all the time. With that being said, October to whatever is my favorite time at the bars. But I think I really will just become one of those people who like only goes out once a weekend. We'll see. Anyways, my show on my face. Whew. I also wore eye liner last night. I have cosmetics and I really like it, but it's like really hard to get off my eye. Not really hard, it just like doesn't come off super easily. So I guess it's good eyeliner, but I feel like I still kind of look dead from that. Forgot to film, just went to Restore, did cryo and the sauna, and I feel amazing now. Mm -hmm. But I just get back, get back Wednesday. I have a lot to get done today. I need to go put my laundry away, pick out an outfit, and I actually think that I'm going to go to the mall and pick up a new brown sweat set because I want like a monochromatic look with just and I coordinating. I'm basically head of like all creative on the O kind, like marketing. So, well, like head of marketing, so like the creative of the marketing, but. I have this vision that I got that I just want to like switch up so I might actually go to Aritzia and then today I actually I do kind of want to start my gardening journey we'll also like fix up the rooftop um I have a lot that's going on and I need to pick up some stuff I went to my grandma's and I looked at her garden and her best friend and her do a garden together they were giving me tips so I think I might do that and then just like get the rest of my like work work stuff done later tonight I want to be in bed by nine so we've got like eight hours to get all this stuff done. 
gonna start with my laundry and then I might head off to the mall a little sooner rather than later before people are off work. Um, and then hopefully tonight, I just have so many, like ugh, all of the plants in my pots right now, guys, they're not good. I need to get rid of it. And over the next month, like probably a month from now is when I will have my garden up and like we'll be working on that. So I wanna get everything else set and then you, whatever. You guys don't care, I'll show you guys as I'm doing it. But I'm going to be filming all of my gardening journey. I'll be putting it on TikTok. It's gonna be really fun, I'm excited, so. Anyways, I'm a little bit tired. Oh, by the way, I got this new perfume from Sniff. I love Sniff. They've sent me stuff in the past. I ordered this myself. I need to get this wrapper off, but I listened to the episode on Not Skinny But Not Fat with Steph Shepard, or Steph Shep, if you will, um, and she has a perfume with them. And they were talking about how good it was and so I ordered it and I got it within like literally two days and it smells incredible and I really like it and it's so like sleek and cool. And Sniff has like really, like in my opinion, like fairly priced um, perfumes and just scents. I love their candles too. So um, that was my purchase, but I need to get my first outfit selected, put my laundry away and then hopefully I can leave within like the next hour to start getting this stuff done and then maybe I'll become a gardener tonight. We'll see. Okay guys, it is now 6 p.m. I got a lot done and I actually went to Home Depot. As you guys saw, got new plants. I know I said I'm giving up on those and that I will have a garden. I'm not giving up on my plants and I will have a garden. So listen, this time I mean it. Third time's a charm. And if everyone's gonna bet against me, honestly, that's okay. Okay, let me show you what I got from Aritzia. To be honest with you, I don't think the bottoms are gonna fit. I got two different sets just in case. The dressing room line was so crazy long. I didn't even see one. And then I walked up and they're like, oh, sorry, line's like back there. And I looked back and I was like, oh my God, I thought that was a line for checkout. No, it wasn't. So it was just too much. And these were on sale, so they're final sale. So I don't know if they're, I mean, I'll wear them regardless. I just don't know if they're gonna be. Oh, but like they, they look too big there though. That like they do look too big. I'm gonna see though figure out if I can like make it work because both of the pants are large and I am a medium, which is not that crazy different, but like with sweats, I feel like it can be really unflattering. So I got this one, which is like what I really want. And then I also got this set. Um, this top is cropped. So I just got it in a large. It's like I'm honestly kind of over cropped crews. I like just a normal size, but I figured if I got it in a large and then those are high-waisted, like it would be fine which actually might be better for the shoot tomorrow. I just, oh, I don't love that the size of this have, that size of these have this on it, but I feel like it's gonna be fine. I'm actually just gonna show you guys what we're shooting tomorrow, because I think I'm gonna vlog a little bit into the weekend. We haven't shown you guys these, but our next drop, which is October 17th, mark your calendars, are the Okine scarves and beanies. So they are the most perfect scarves. I, I'm like sweaty, so I don't wanna put it on, but like unbelievable material. And then we have these little the Okine tags. Ignore that. This is a sample, so we're like trying out different things right now. Uh, we don't have like all the inventory. We only have samples. Just like on the schedule that we're on, we need to get more ahead, so we're not shooting samples all the time. But just like the best scarf ever. And then we have matching beanies. That's what we're shooting tomorrow, even though it's gonna be so hot. Um, but like literally the most like I'm obsessed. Even if this wasn't mine, like this is actually something I really want to do, but if it wasn't my brand, I'd be like, this is the best scarf I've ever had in my entire life. And then we have a brown one, of course. So that's why I got those brown sets. Because I'm going to wear the brown tomorrow um, on the shoe, and Jess is going to wear the gray. Jessica is going to wear the gray. Um, the Okine here, beautiful. So I don't know. I could do either color with it. We'll see. I'm trying to do like a monochromatic look with our cruise and I'll try those on and see later and just figure it out um but that is what is going on I'm, I meet so many of you guys I just go to North Park so many of y'all work at North Park like I met someone uh, like 
I always meet, you know, my girls at Aritzia always, and then like so many stores. And like literally, I think every single person who's ever watched my videos works or is at North Park Mall. So it was really fun. So I'm gonna say this before we go upstairs because I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me, but I need like pot inserts so that I'm not filling out the entire pot with soil because it's kind of a waste of soil and then it drains out the water better anyways. So those are not coming until tomorrow because they didn't have them in the store, so I overnighted them on Amazon. And so that was like a whole thing. But as you guys have seen, the pots are like disgusting and basically filled with mud. So today, I'm so lucky. And I am going to go through and take everything out of the pots. And then tomorrow or Sunday, I'll start like repotting everything. It's gonna be a really glamorous Friday night, but I wanted to do this before I like shower and figure out the outfits and stuff like god this is just tragic it really is so anyways um we are we're gonna get started so this is what i picked up today got some mums some new grass and we gotta get rid of this stuff let's see how bad no it's actually not even as mud as it, muddy as it was which is crazy because it's been really muddy all week so Wow, and then let us not forget over here. You might be like Kinsey, give it up. But listen, if you don't quit, you win, you know? I don't think that's actually true. That's all gone. I mean, it still feels gross. I'm gonna hire someone to come up and power wash the rooftop, by the way, but these are really cheap, but they've ripped, so they're gonna eventually have to go. It's just getting rid of things is really difficult because I'm obviously on like the fourth story, and then also like I don't have that much trash. Like I want these two things gone too. Even like getting rid of, once I do this coffee table, the rug and the cushions, that's gonna be really difficult and that dog fence. So I might have to hire someone. I'm gonna look tonight and see if I can hire someone for Monday to just come and take a bunch of stuff. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I have these trash bags that will pretty much be ready to go. And then I'm gonna be able to replant. So I think pretty soon if I just hire someone, because it needs to be someone who can also, like has a big truck that can like take this to the dump. I can't donate this stuff, obviously, because it's just, that would be rude. It's, like, gross now. Um, so, yeah. Then after that, I'll have someone power wash, and I'll replant my stuff partially, I think, probably this weekend. Um, and this will come together, like, pretty quickly. This is obviously, like, really just, there's a number. It's fine, though. It looks really overwhelming, but honestly, I don't think it's going to take that long. I'm very excited because I got a package from Tower 28, this SOS spray has made the biggest difference in my skin. Lindsay Carter told me about it, talked about it in so many videos. It is like my uh, like my next holy grail after the glow screen sunscreen that I've worn every day for like four years at this point. And then they gave me some bronzer, some blush. This blush, honestly, it kind of scares me because it's very dark and it feels like it's going to be like really... But I feel like it's gonna look different on than what I'm picturing. So I actually think I'm gonna like it, but I am a little bit worried about it. So we'll test that out. And then these lip liners look incredible and in like the absolute perfect new shades. And then I got two lip glosses, which I actually really love their lip glosses. I've had them before. 
and this is the lip jelly one. I haven't had this one, but I do have these right here. Um, and I really liked them. So anyways, Tower 28 is a great brand. I really, oh, I really like them. Okay. So it is now 9 p.m. and I've done pretty much everything that I needed to do. Um, I'm gonna just go over some last minute stuff for the shoot tomorrow and then go to bed. So I finished the bodyguard. Oh, also I got this native toothpaste at CVS today. Has anyone tried this yet? I'm gonna go put this in the bathroom, but I love native as a brand. So I'm excited for the toothpaste. On a Friday night, I'm going to bed at 9 p.m. and I'm vlogging about toothpaste, so that's great. I'm glad that I have a life. Okay, so for those asking, or who will be like, how do you sleep in all-white bedding after you self tan? Like, uh, you just, you stay, I wear things that are long and I just wear for the best. Okay, I read The Bodyguard this week and two nights and I really, really loved that book. I I liked it even more than I than I thought I did because I was thinking about it the next day, like wishing that I still could read it. I just thought it was really sweet. At the end, it really got me. Really easy, sweet, light read. Like not the best thing I've ever read in my life, but it was good. And now I think I'm gonna start City of Likes by Jenny Mullen because I've had that on my list since before it came out. I don't even know why, but I think that I'm gonna start reading that. Or I think I did start reading that last night. Sometimes if I start reading a book, but it's too late, I forget until I read again and then I remember. Um, but I'm gonna get a little bit of this work done, go to bed, and I'll talk to you guys in the morning. I just love being home. Like, maybe, am I in my home era? I think I'm in my home era. Good morning, guys. Putting on some eye mask. It is 7 a.m. on Saturday. I'm loving my slow mornings. You know when you wake up, your skin just feels tight because you don't have any skincare on? Anyway, I am loving my slow mornings right now where I just put my robe on and I go downstairs. I drink some coffee, um, but I'm gonna try to start drinking coffee like not right after I um, wake up. I think you're really supposed to do it like an hour after you wake up or something, right? Basically, I just wanna drink a lot more water in the morning, but okay, let's see here. My loops I'm at, I love Murad skincare, but these, no eye mask compared to the loops and I'm I'm out of the loops eye mask right now um, And they're so much easier too. These just like are kind of confusing, but um, The loops eye mask guys. I miss them. I need more. I have the face mask, but it's the eye mask that I need I also have the face mask though. Okay So good morning. I have about 30 minutes to read to journal to have my slow morning I got water. All right, I'm getting picked up in 10 minutes, so I need to finish. I'm gonna try the one-liner from Power 28 Beauty. Something about this reminds me of one that my mom used growing up. Love, I think Jess actually might be here. She's early, so. I'm gonna try this and we'll see. Oh, I actually love this duo. Wow. It's really pretty and it's like weirdly kind of a unique nude. Like it's hard to achieve this color. I don't know if it's too light on me, but I, I actually really like it. Wow, cool. Well, anyways, I really like this lip liner. I have a recent podcast episode fave, and it's going to be niche because not everyone's going to like it, but it's called DTC, and it's people from, um, like, basically, like, the CMO and just people on marketing from Jones Road Beauty, which is Bobby Brown's new makeup line. Um, and it's so interesting, and I've been binging the episodes all week and learning so much. That's what's so cool about having a brand is that I feel like I'm like growing and learning every day because I'm constantly like reading or listening or talking to someone who like obviously knows way more than me and I love that part. So anyways, I'm going to get dressed, get ready. Uh, well, actually I'll my sister do it so put my clothes on and then we're going.
All right, guys, it is a little bit later. It's now 1 p.m. I'm back for my shoot. Uh, I was so hot, so that is why I'm wearing this. And I am going to go upstairs and double check to make sure I have my measurements right. I'm gonna go hang out with friends later, but I'm going to order my new outdoor cushions. The shoot went great. I'm so excited. I need to edit TikToks. I'm gonna just like lay in bed for the next few hours and then get up 10 minutes before I have to leave. I think we're gonna go to Truck Yard and Otter Bar and then just like have a chill night. It's a really crazy weekend in Dallas right now because it's, um, what am I trying to say? It's SMU TCU, so Dallas is wild. Here's my tan from last night, by the way. I did Centro Pay. I need to get the Express one, um, but I like it. Like it's easy and fine. It does get everywhere. Like it's not one that doesn't transfer, but I feel like all of them pretty much transfer, you know? Diane and I were like jokingly picking on Allie today and she says to us like I hope you guys get well soon <laughs> and I was like I love that like That's I'm so gonna funny. start saying that to people who like say mean things about my friends on Instagram or like say mean things to me I'm like I really hope you get well soon no I'm so that. 